<laughs> Florentino slides it across, passing to Army. He plays it towards the slot, dangerously bouncing there, but UNH is able to carry out. Gumas short-handed now, heading towards Gillies. Gumas tries to wrap up, and he scores! What an individual play, an end-to-end rush, and Kevin Gumas short-handed puts the Wildcats up by a goal. I don't think you would call Kevin Gumas the prettiest skater, but man, oh man, effective. Army can't handle the puck in there. Now watch Gumas. He's going to take it. He's going to try and turn the corner right there. He decides that he can't. So he's going to go behind the net, and Gillies had already committed to his left. He can't get back to his right. Here's the key. Right here, he says, I can't get to my edge. I can't drive to the front of the net. Let me use the back of the net. And Gillies, despite the long legs, has already committed too much to that left side. Can't flash out the right pad. Black Bears then had a bye week as being one of the top five seeds. Then got the University of Maine, got a Schneider Arena for their quarterfinal series. So four games against Maine. Last team they played other than the Black Bears was, was, was UMass on February 22nd. Reaction score! Fired from Augusta at the point. Went off Hart and into the net. It's a 2 nothing lead. But this is what happens when you get some sustained pressure in the offensive zone. Providence has it, and now UNH has. This is a good little play right here. There, the quick little pickup by Willows. He sticks with it, brings it over. Now watch the little punch shot that's coming through. He's trying, Augusto is, is actually trying to hit Maxim Gaudreau coming to the front right here. But instead it goes off the defenseman Hart, who's brought back with him there, off the left skate and into the net. Fired in here, final 10 seconds as Gilmore's bid was blocked, and now Gumis coming in, two on one. Gumis slides it across, Sorkin sends it just wide. Gumis wrap around, it went in the net. Was there any time left? That'll be the question. The green light is on already. The red light is not on. I thought to the naked eye that this will count, but the red light did not go on. UNH couldn't believe that they missed the first one. It was an empty net. The puck got pushed wide completely. Gumas coming down, backhands pass over, goes wide by Sorkin, and, and then right here, the stuff attempt. The puck's clearly in the net. The question is, how much time was that? Here so we go on the overhead. The time. Watch the time in the bottom. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a goal. Oh, yeah. I told you, the naked Half eye. A second remaining as it went in the net. That will be a goal. No question about it. You saw the official time, the discussion going on down at ice level. Right now, as Gumas looks up, it should stand as his second of the period, his 18th of the year. It is a goal. And with 0.4 seconds remaining in the period, Gumas makes it a 3 0 lead. Providence College is trying to push the play a bit, but then they don't recognize that they've got to get back. It should have been 3 0 there with five seconds left or so when Sorkin just kind of knuckles it past the net. Corey Alley couldn't get there in time. Rooney for the Friars. Knocked out by Camper, but he got it in deep. Drew Brown there, plays it on front, score! Rooney came back from behind the net and a quick shot. The first one to beat the Smith. It's a 3-1 game. TC, you can argue that this line, centered by Kevin Rooney, has been the most active, at least the most consistent and cohesive in this. Look at the inside plane right there, taken by Drew Brown. That initiates the four check, and then already now we've had now four goals scored in this game, and three of them you could you would almost say have been scored from behind the goal line here. This time Rooney gets just in front of it with one skate, but we're seeing offense generated down.